SmackDown show. Uh, a lot of stuff happened on this show. Opened up with Bianca coming out. Uh, and she talked about the win at War Games. Damage Control came out. Everybody except Bailey. And they buried Brooklyn, got in the ring. It was four on one. And Dakota basically said, Io has beaten you. If you want another title shot, you have to go through all of us. So Bianca said, that's fine. Who's first? So then Charlotte and Shotzi came out. And Charlotte said Bianca wasn't the only one going after Io. She'd like to go through all of them. So a huge brawl broke out. And uh, later it was announced it was going to be B- B- Bianca versus uh, Kyrie for the main event. she got to go through all of them, yes. basically. Kyrie was up first. So then Bailey meets with damage control afterwards, and she goes, why'd you guys go out there without me? Nobody told me what was going on. Maybe if I'd been out there, things would have ended differently. And Dakota says, well, you know what matters is Kyrie has a match with Bianca tonight, and you know Bianca as well as anybody, so maybe you could give her some advice. And Bailey's like, all right, fine. Yeah. She's on the outs. She's on the outs. But they all thought somebody else was supposed to tell her. Yes. They all pointed at each other like, oh, you, weren't you supposed to tell her? So, but obviously she's going baby face. Oh, yes. We had Lashley beating Butch. Speared him to death. Went about eight minutes. And, it's a good uh, match. Yeah, it was a good while it lasted. It was good. And yeah. tons of heat. Uh, people loved Bobby Lashley. Just yeah, even though even though tech, even though, even though Butch is sort of the baby face, he's supposed to be the baby face. He was yeah. not in this match. Yeah, you know, on the weekend it was the same thing. Um, Bobby Lashley was um, uh, Bobby Lashley and Dawkins were a tag team, and they were supposed to be the heels, and they were the baby, f- and the crowd was behind them completely. I don't think the crowd wants to boo the Street Profits either. <laughs> no, they were they were much better when they were baby faces. Yeah, much better. So Heyman's meeting with Nick Aldis, and he says, did you invite Orton to SmackDown? And Aldis says, yes, I'm going to sign him to a contract. Paul says, does the tribal chief know anything about this? And Nick says, well, why don't you let him know I'm going to sign him? So, Paul, what are you going to do about it? And Paul said, anything it takes. We had uh, Butch backstage holding his neck, and Ridge has walked out on him last week, and pretty deadly walked up. They made fun of him, and they beat him up, so... Looks like they're teasing the return of Ridge Holland at some point. You mean Sheamus? And Sheamus, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. Or I don't one or the other. I don't think Ridge Holland's. I think Ridge Holland just turned. I don't see where he would fit into this. Yeah. So they, Sheamus back soon? I mean, he's supposed to be back real soon. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that yeah, makes sense yeah. then. Yeah. Santos Escobar did a promo backstage about his match with Joaquin, which came up next. And uh, what about four minutes? It was fine. Phantom Driver finish. And then Escobar's beat him up afterwards, and Dragon Lee ran down to make the save and uh, basically ran him out of the ring. So even though Escobar beat him clean to the pay-per-view, we're doing it again. You're doing it in the tournament, the U.S. Yeah. title tournament. So, US yeah, title that, tournament. Which, which will be next uh, Friday night. Nick Aldis met with Adam Pierce backstage, and Pierce was there with a Raw contract. And he says, I'm going to go out there in the main event tonight. And what was not explained was, why didn't Aldis have security remove this guy? Because that's happened before. Yes. They've had each other removed. But this guy's trying to show up and steal a guy out from underneath him, and he's like, all right, well, come down to the ring. I don't like it, but... Yeah. Then we had a long Logan Paul segment, and he announced the tournament, and it's Santos, Dragon Lee, Karrion Cross, an unnamed NXT superstar, Lashley, Grayson, Austin Theory, and Kevin Owens. I mean, definitely when they announced it, Kevin Owens' name got a bigger pop than everyone by far. Well, then Kevin came out, and they went back and forth. So I can't fathom Kevin not winning this tournament because they, unless, I suppose it's possible that he can get screwed out of the tournament and then Logan beats whoever wins, and then they do Logan and Kevin at Royal Rumble because we do have seven weeks till the Rumble. But clearly I mean, they're I, doing I, I figured the winner of the tournament is, is gets the Rumble shot. Well, they got maybe, a ways to go then. Because Logan Paul doesn't really wrestle on TV that much. No. If, if ever. So then Grayson and Theory came out, and Kevin ended up punching Theory and had a stare down with Logan. So that led to Kevin and Grayson with Logan on commentary. And uh, most of this was just, you know, Logan plugging all of his stuff, plugging the tournament, talking about Owens being fat. And uh, by the end, the crowd was super into the match, and Grayson cut him off. The big spot was... Uh, Theory stomping on his hand on the ring steps. And so Kevin sold the hand the entire match. And Kevin finally avoided a kick in the corner, rolled him up and pinned him. And they're doing an injury angle with Kevin. 
where they're claiming that I guess he's got broken bones in his hand. So going so, into the tournament so, so he hurts. So, so he can't throw the punch. Yeah. They announced Punk on SmackDown next week. No announcement of Punk on Raw, unless they add that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We had damage control, meaning with... Is he I'll a free agent? What? CM Punk and Storyline? They just they signed really, Randy. They haven't really explained. Yes. The thing is, is there's going to be a lot of upset people because they sold um, almost 1,700 tickets in the last week for Albany, mm. for Raw, and that's for Punk. Well... I guess there's always tomorrow to make that announcement. I mean, they've never they. I mean, they never advertised him. The people just bought the tickets, assuming he would be there. Mm. But 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 they, you know, the tickets moved. I mean, like, you know, I mean, that's a lot of tickets for the for to move in a week. So, um, you know, and that's the reason they moved. So, we'll see. We had damage control meeting with Bailey, and Dakota asked her if she was okay, and Bailey was like, yeah, I'm fine. Everything's all right. And then Eel walks up and says, stay back here tonight. So they went out without her. And then it was Kyrie and Bianca for uh, in Bianca's quest to uh, get a shot at Eo. And the match was fine overall, but there are issues. And I don't know if it's a language barrier or what, but a couple of weeks ago, Kyrie and Charlotte, they just had big problems in their match. And then we had the same thing here where they had several spots where it's botched and Bianca's screaming at her to get up for spots and she's slamming her hard and they finally got back on the same page and uh, they fought outside. Bianca dropped her across the barricade. Both teams had been ejected earlier, but Bailey hadn't been out there. So Bailey runs down. She goes after Bianca. Kyrie goes up for the elbow. Bianca crushes her, hits the KOD, gets the pin. So uh, Bailey did not help after all when she came down to try to help. So well, she uh, tried. She tried to help, but tried and failed. Yeah, to help her but, win this match. But her, but her women still lost. Then the main event was Aldis and Pierce out there, and they call out Randy, and this dude gets a massive ovation. This place is going crazy for this guy, and Pierce and Aldis immediately get an argument. They're screaming about Randy regarding where he should go, and Paul Heyman comes out. And he says, the bloodline is going to make this decision for you. So out comes Solo and Jimmy. They hit the ring. Randy runs wild on both of them. They double team him. L.A. Knight comes down to make the save. So L.A. and and, uh, Solo brawl to the back. Randy gives Jimmy the RKO. Screams to give him the contracts. Heyman tells him to go to Raw because he'd be safe there. Orton takes a Raw contract. Tosses it. Signs a SmackDown contract. And tells Paul to tell Roman... That daddy's back. So it looks like that match for the Royal Rumble, that Roman match. Randy it looked like to me. Yep. I know that it was. Um, I know that it was under consideration. I also know that there were other ideas too. So. Do the was... ovation this guy got? You kidding me? Yeah. It's got to oh, no. be a pay per view match. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I thought from when I watched Raw on Monday that that it was um, going to be Roman and. Uh, and Randy Orton at the pay-per-view. Yes. And I was told that it was, there are ideas. I mean, it's it's possible, but there were other ideas too. So we'll see how it plays out. But, I mean, I certainly expect I mean, that. I don't know what the other idea could be. I mean, this is the match no, people no, want. No, no, no. This would be, the, this is the strongest by far. The only yes. other, I mean, like you could do Punk, but it's too early. And it's, and Punk's with, with Rollins. And, um, yeah, there's nobody else. Kevin Owens is probably going with, um, uh, what's his name with um, Logan Paul? So there's really, you know, it, it's it's kind of like by default. Yeah, but even right? Kevin Owens right now, it's like we've seen Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, like countless times. Yeah. And you can see from the show that the people want Randy oh, against yeah. Roman. Oh, yeah. So didn't Paul say we give these people what they want? I mean, that's eventually they said. always do. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that's what I expect. I mean, the angle basically told you, right? They got nine weeks to promote it, so yeah. I mean, that's what I expect it ends up being. Nothing else makes sense. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.